follow up age 36. Diagnosis of ankylosing spondylosis. You can see the degree of stiffness in the neck. Ghata ghora. Itthe ke beshiya ghora na. Edi ke? Ankylosing with lot of stiffness and contracture in her neck. Ar kudhai vatha hai so. Difficulty in stooping. Kudhai vatha hai so ya khan? That point is sensitive to touch. Neck pain, I mentioned that. When she lifts her right leg, can't lift it more than that. And pain goes from her right groin to the buttock. What about the ticket? What about the ticket? What Previously, her ribs used to be sensitive to touch. That's not there now. While trying to put on her clothes is difficult to do so because of the degree of immobility of the neck. Can't lift her hands more than that. What about you? Book jail. Suffering since last five years. Kikur should do. What I'm sure Kikur. And you have to go to Jagat to the Korigation, the records of what they get, but a damp and Arathi Padina. History of fall from a high place. What do you think? Ten feet high. Are correct? Suddenly, after one year, suddenly she found one day she cannot move her right leg. Right leg became immobile. Gradually, all the other joints got affected. Gradually, all the other joints got affected. Gradually, all the other joints got affected. I have been seeing her since June last year, 2022. So it's failed roughly seven months. She was on conventional medicines. Previously, local homeopathic medicines for six months. Prior to that, conventional treatment. In 2013, she fell down. She fell from the... And she fell from the... And she fell from the... One year later, you heard that, right? The pain started. She fell from the... And 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 she fell from the... Previously, it was difficult to... Turn from one side to another. Now she can gradually. It's difficult to get up with without support. The modality. She had an attack of blackout, unconsciousness in between, while with sweating. Other symptoms in the case, weak, plus plus, easily catches cold, he had another leg. Dry cough, throat pain, 
While coughing, she gets pain in her joints, especially around the lower uh, upper abdomen. Stooped feeling, you understand, due to the she is a hot person. Family history of arthritis. Mother had a history of arthritis. Sleep is quite poor because of the pains. Anger <coughs> hits her own head on the wall. Mother needs to again regularly. <coughs> Took Violent sometimes hurts herself. Jerking aggravates the pain. Especially the neck. Menses are 10 to 12 days early. Menses are generally early, 10 to 12 days. She sweats quite a lot on her head. Chipta dekhi. Previously, I have a note that it was indented tongue. There's not much indentation to be honest right now. The throat pain with the cold. Any suggestions? Uchu jagat the poradi sunil ki gorde. Ladder to sleep kete. Trying to get up on the ladder. You see, a typical case where you have to consider injury, right? You cannot prescribe any other remedy if you do not consider injury, you will be experiencing failure. With the fall, you can't get up. She sat down, she fell, and you know, it was not a direct fall on the back, but she sat and fell. No direct injury to the upper back. What is the presenting state right now? You can see the a state of contraction and stiffness, right? Unable to move the neck. Unable to move the neck. Right? Contraction, stiffness. I want you to open your body, please. Sikuta Virosa. Sikuta Virosa. Sikuta Virosa. And you'll never miss out on a prescription of Sikuta if you understand her case. Fall injury, irrespective of the location. I've had patients, look at me please. You know, on a train, they tried to get up, bump their head. Right? In Sikuta, what happens? There's a concussion between the head and the spine. Thing, she fell down, sat like that. So there's a concussion between the head and the spine, or anywhere in the spine. You understand what I mean? If you open body care, please, C-I-C-U-T-A, Sikuta Virosa. Look in the introduction. The action on the nervous system produces spasmodic affections. Did you get that? Hiccup, Trismus. Trismus is, ah, this. Can't open the jaw. You know, like a long jaw. That's Trismus. Tetanus, convulsions. Give the pathological picture calling for this remedy. Few lines below. Amongst these are the bending of the head, neck, and spine backwards. General action of the patient is violent with distortions. If you look in the head section, cervical muscles contracted. You see lack of mobility. There's a state of contraction. If you look in the eye section, pupils dilated, intense strabismus, squint. Not with her case, but many times you can find with the contracture of the eyeballs, they squint with Sikuta. Look in the back and extremities, spasms and cramps in muscles of nape of neck and spasmodic drawing backward of the head. You got that? So, a state of spasm and contracture. It's not stiffness like what you get with Rostox. Rostox stiffness gets better with movement. Posticum stiffness will get better with Mobility. Plumb on stiffness will get better with rubbing. This is constant, persistent, 27. Do you understand what I mean? And that is Sikuta Pirosa. Obviously, I would not have thought of Sikuta if there was no history of injury. 
you have to qualify with a history of injury for signature. Concussions. Think of children who have had delayed labor. You know, the child is trying to come out, but there is obstruction, obstructed labor, concussion between the head and the spine. And now the child is spastic, contracture, cannot move the neck, cannot move the eyes, child has squint. Sekuta comes in wonderfully handy in such cases. So a state of spat, if you don't remember anything else, remember patient had an injury, where there is concussion, you understand concussion is like a spasm to the spine, resulting in contracture, contracture, contracture. You understand the difference, stiffness, contraction, you have that with plumbum, you have that with rostrox, you have that with caustica. Plumbum will get better from this, rubbing. Rostrox will get better from continued motion. But this doesn't get better with her for with any modalities. And that's because it's in a permanent state of contraction. Yes, Prati. Strichninam. Strichninam can come in later on with the contraction, but again, strichnin doesn't have the injury history. So because I had the injury history, can have that. Yes, yes, definitely. But the injury history will differentiate between other remedies and sicutabirosa. You're with me? Other remedy which is coming up, to be honest, so the points for Sikuta in the case. So, you had a history of injury, which is more preferable word for Sikuta, metromedica term is concussion. You're with me? Resulting in Contracture, spasms, these are two words, never forget for Siguda Virosa. Contracture, spasms. You with me? The next remedy, if there was no history of injury, which I would have thought of is Kelly Iot. Why Kelly Iot? You see, she is constantly referring to the back, which is sensitive to touch. You know Kelly is sensitive to touch, right? Her ribs were also sensitive to touch. Debility, I think I mentioned that, didn't I? Debility of Kelly in a hot patient. So when you have with these pathologies, a lot of sensitiveness, do, do, do always think of Kelly group. If it's a hot patient, do think of Kelly IOT. You're with me. Hot Kelly with backache, with weakness. You know the triad of Kelly group, backache, sweat, and weakness. And sensitivity to touch. We started with Sikuta, 30 followed by 200. I didn't want to aggravate the condition. 30 followed by 200 considering the etiology. followed by 200 in June, September 200 again, November 1 M. And I gave her, she was on conventional painkillers, I gave her as an organopathic ginseng, I have shared this remedy with you, ginseng, stiff, contracted, as and when she used to feel a lot of stiffness, contraction, immobility used to be worse, do not take the painkiller, take ginseng instead. Three words for ginseng, stiff, contracted, heavy. Ginseng, G-I-N-S-E-N-G, -E ginseng in tincture. I shared that with you when we, did, took, when we did rheumatology. Wonderful organopathy. Such cases of ankylosing where there's a lot of stiffness. Sometimes she'll tell you the stiffness really increases. I need some anti-spasmodic, you know, like a muscle relaxant I need. Do not take conventional muscle relaxant, take ginseng instead. You can easily overcome and don't need the conventional painkiller. I'm repeating a 1M today with Sikuta and probably I will change to Kelly Ayod next time because she's so much referring to the back, you know. The back is the weakest link here. I'll repeat a 1M today of Sikuta. I'll put a note, probably change to um, Kelly Ayod after that because Sikuta has done 
what it can to be honest the back pain is little bit better rib pain is better there is some improvement in some areas but I need to prescribe a deep acting remedy which can take care of the condition after this Sikuta 30 followed by 200 one thing is there, in blood report, HLAP27 antigen is negative. Mm -hmm. Is it after treatment or before? I'm not sure for that. No, that was done in April, I think. That is prior to the, she started homeopathy. Ah, yeah, treatment.